Hey guys, Rob here with Flea Market Flipper, and today we are going to box something. Um, a lot of times this might, I haven't had a lot of questions on this, I have had a couple, but uh, a lot of times people don't know how we get, I'm shipping a mattress cover. This is one of my famous sleep number mattress uh, sales, but I'm shipping the cover because I started splitting them apart, selling them separately, uh, covers and then all the interior stuff. So anyways, I'm shipping one of these out today, and I'm gonna show you how, as you can see, I put it into this box, and it's way too big. I got to get that in and this still, I have to get inside of it. So um, what I end up doing is buying these huge 55 gallon uh, bags um, for leaves and stuff like that. I buy these things, I put the mattress inside of them and then I uh, suck all the air out of it. So as you can see, I have my shop back right here. Uh, it'll get noisy for one second. I'm going to show you. I cram this inside the box. I actually ripped the box over here getting this one in. Uh, sometimes it goes in a little easier. This time it you know, it took me a little bit to get it formed in there, but if I do this inside the box, it'll form around the box. It'll suck all the air out of it, out, all the air out of it, um, and then it'll be able to fit this piece in and package it up. And you might ask, why do I want to do this? Well, because when the smaller you can get the box, uh, the cheaper your shipping is. So I try and get all the air out of it and get the box smaller. That way, it's cheaper for me to ship it. So, anyways, let me suck the air out of it real quick. You can see what I'm talking. About. Now, as you can see, I forgot to bring my, you have to tie that off with a twisty tie or whatever to uh, keep the air from going back into it. But as you can see, it'll actually fit in the box now. I can cram this thing in there, spread it apart a little bit. Try to reform the box where I actually split it. And that's pretty much it. I forgot to bring my tape gun in here too, but now I'll do that. I'll tape it off all around it. Um, and that's how I kind of get it into a smaller box so we can actually ship it and pay less money for it. So hopefully this will help you guys out uh, for soft stuff, sheets, um, anything that, it, that is this nature that has a lot of uh, uh, down or whatever that will actually come. You can suck the air of it out and make it smaller to ship. Uh, this is the best way to do it. So anyways, that's it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.